Xin chào mừng quý vị và các bạn quay trở lại với chương trình Tôi và Việt Nam trên kênh truyền hình FBNC. Vị khách mời của chúng ta ngày hôm nay là giáo sư James Riddle đến từ trường đại học Johns Hopkins, Hoa Kỳ. Chúng tôi xin phép được tiếp tục cuộc trò chuyện với vị khách mời này. Um, the professor talking about TPP, a lot of discussions and arguments um, that we've heard recently. Do you agree with on those discussion? Well, I would say that I am not a great fan of uh, TPP or for that matter of any of the recent uh, preferential trade agreements that have been reached, not only in Vietnam, in Asia, but around the world. They all involve an element of discrimination, which is clearly not inefficient in terms of in economic terms and uh, creates uh, problems for our country. So, uh, of course, I would prefer the multilateral route to trade liberalization, but that doesn't seem to be working at the moment since the last multilateral trade negotiation, the so-called Doha round, has failed repeatedly. So, I guess uh, preferential trade agreements are the only game in town, so to speak. I see. And um, I understand that you uh, have been traveling quite a lot to many countries, so your knowledge is quite well-rounded because you uh, do a lot of research and also you work in, in many countries in the world. For example, like Germany four years, China three years, in and out of Vietnam for like around 20 years. So what are the most interesting lessons that you have learned <laughs> while traveling um, around the globe? Well, I think, you know, uh, anywhere you go, any economy that you study, you learn new things. And uh, most of these things are relevant to other countries as well. So I think my ability or my uh, ability to better understand the problems of Vietnam is enhanced by my experience in other countries. I think if, you know, you just specialize on one country, then you don't really, you can't you can't see the forest for the trees. You know, mm -hmm. you understand all the little bits, but do you see where it all fits in the whole? Mm -hmm. So I think it's been a productive way to, to try to understand the process of economic development, and in particular in Vietnam, is that is to bring lessons from other countries here and consider how, study how they might relate to and uh, improve our understanding of how the Vietnamese economy works. Okay. Okay. So now we talk about the students and professors in Vietnam. Uh, what do you like the most about them? Their quality or their attitude? Can you share? Again, all of the above. I find my uh, the students here and the colleagues here are wonderful. They are very professional and they they're very uh, congenial, and uh, so I very much I very much enjoy working here especially the students here. You know, uh, in the United States, uh, higher education has become somewhat uh, commercialized. Mm -hmm. Students go to the university to, in many cases, to buy a degree. Exactly. Right? Uh, not necessarily to, you know, enhance their knowledge of the particular subject matter. Mm -hmm. In Vietnam, I find the students are much more intellectually engaged and much more appreciative of the learning that you can provide them. Mm -hmm. And so that makes a teacher happy. So I very much enjoy the students and my colleagues here in Vietnam. Right. And what would be your professional advice to the students and also to the fellow professors in Vietnam? <laughs> Actually, I don't have any advice for, uh, for the professors in Vietnam. If I had any advice, it would be for the uh, administrators of the universities in Vietnam. And that would be, of course, to emphasize the need for excellence in education. Education shouldn't be, you know, something, it's, it's different from, any, from other products. You don't just sell it. Right? You have to design it, the education, with an eye to excellence. Mm -hmm. You have to give professors, which you don't have in Vietnam, sufficient time, for example, to do research, mm -hmm. to study, to enhance their 
professional standing and so on and so forth. Currently in Vietnam, most professors don't have that, that uh, luxury. Mm -hmm. They have to teach many hours of the week and don't have time really to build their professional mm -hmm. capacity. Uh, are you going to spend Tet Holiday in Vietnam, may I ask? I will. I will yeah. spend Tet Holiday in Vietnam this year. So what are your experiences and views of this tradition of Vietnam? Well, it's a very lovely time. Everybody's at home and everybody is enjoying themselves. And one of the things about the culture in Vietnam is that uh, people enjoy each other's company in mm -hmm. Vietnam. To a much greater extent, I would say, than in the United States. Yeah. And Tet is just, you know, that period of the year where you have more opportunity for getting together and enjoying uh, each other's company. That's right. what I like the most about Tet. Right. So um, we have just like go through um, a lot of discussions about like uh, a lot of stories about uh, your life in Vietnam uh, when was the first time you came to Vietnam and also some discuss some economic matters. So if I uh, would like to have like some summaries for the audience, uh, let's say like top three most interesting you want to share, what would it be? <laughs> That's a very difficult <laughs> That's a very difficult challenge you have given. <laughs> Let me say, first of all, you know, I have many uh, students who come to me for advice about their professional career, mm -hmm. and education, and so forth. And I never know how to answer their question. I don't really know how to give them advice. So what I usually say is, life is a river. Right? First thing you have to do is get on the river. Very you don't nice. know where the river is going. Very nice. And as you go down the river, new, you know, things will, new channels will open up. And you go this way, you go that way. And you just have to do the best you can as you go down the river and see where you end up. I see. So my river began here in Vietnam. Very nice. And it was my fate, my sofa, <laughs> that I would continue on this riv river for another 50-some years. I see. And I hope the river will still go on a little bit longer. <laughs> I'm sure. I believe so. Is there anything else you would like to add uh, to share with the audience? Uh, no, I don't think so. Okay. I think <laughs> the river is my best uh, metaphor. Very nice. Thưa quý vị, vừa rồi là chương trình Tôi và Việt Nam trên kênh truyền hình FBNC phỏng vấn giáo sư James Riddle đến từ trường đại học Johns Hopkins, Hoa Kỳ. Chúng tôi cảm ơn quý vị đã quan tâm theo dõi. Xin chúc quý vị có những ngày uh, Tết thật vui. Uh, xin chào tạm biệt quý vị và xin hẹn gặp lại trong chương trình tiếp theo. Once again, thank you very much for your time. Thank you. I wish you all the best and best wishes for that holiday. Yeah, thank, you very much. thank you very much.